Yeah, so these answers are not the same as the answers that we have. And I think the first thing we should do is actually go through and uh, make these answers be better. <laughs> I think that's what we should do. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I think that's the best thing to start with today because I don't want to go through and then train the classifier and then, and it's disconnected. And it's back. Okay, this might be a network connection error on my issue. I don't want to spend some time poking around and trying to solve it live on stream. Um, hmm. A little bit more coffee. Yeah. I think, I don't actually think we need to change all of these. So, um, what do I want to do? This is honestly something I'd probably rather do in R, given my druthers. Um, changing all of the names, so I think I'm gonna actually do that. So let's pop open our studio. Mm, nope, that's the one. And do the whole thing uh, again. So what do I wanna change? I wanna change, and I'm just gonna uh, open up eight of them, I guess. I'm just gonna move it over here so I can do my, uh, a uh, folder correctly. <laughs> oh. How are y'all doing? Hopefully uh, less troubles in your work right now than I'm currently having. Uh, where do I keep this? Reasons, Rachel, Dustin. And then I believe it was business end was where we were working and then open that and then we'll make this the working directory. Yeah. So I think for this type of data cleaning directory, I would uh, prefer to have it in, oops, it should be all set up now. Uh, I would prefer to have it in, uh, I'm going to move me so I'm not covering the code as much. Uh, I would prefer to have it in. in an R file, because it's just going to be easier, because doing that sort of like um, replacing levels of a factor in pandas is a little bit fussy, and I would prefer to avoid that if at all possible. So we are up to here. So at this point, we've written out our file, and I'm going to add a new section header, which will add it to my list here. Uh, and I'm going to call my section header uh, recoding what would you call them? Factor levels? Factor levels is like a specifically R thing. I don't think that's necessarily what they're called in Python. Uh, but let's read the whole dang thing right from the top and uh, look at what our data set looks like. So this is all the data cleaning that we've done over the last couple weeks. And now if we look at, uh, let's just do a summary. Um, yeah, you can see all of the answers for all of the questions. I don't think we need to change all of these. I think a lot of them are pretty good. I think some of them need some help. Um, so for question 14, um, we definitely want to replace this with boy and law because I believe that's how the question is coded in the, uh, is written in the assistant. Uh, and I can, of course, always go back and change the assistant, the way that we ask questions in the assistant, but I think that's also fairly um, clear. So for, for this, decoded DF is what it's called, and we want to um, mutate, so just like in, uh, no, we don't necessarily want to mutate. We want to change what the column, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, replace 
factor levels in R. And I am Googling that in another pane. <laughs> uh, renaming levels of a factor. That is, in fact, what I want. Take a little peek, a little peeky-poo. OK. Revalue. Duh, 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 duh. All right. And this is from Plier. Ooh, that is. <laughs> that is some uh, some vintage uh, R documentation, because uh, Plier is the precursor to dplyr, which is uh, sort of the the current version. Uh, da, 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 blue, 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 blue. These methods will modify x directly. You do not have to save the result back to x. You can use R's built-in functions. Uh, I would prefer not to, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I think the plier version is probably the best bet for us. Uh, so x here is a, yeah, all right, uh, is a uh, vector, it looks like. So a vector of factors. Let me make you small. Scooch you back over. Scooch, 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 scooch. Uh, Robbie said four cats. I thought it was a forecasting library. I'm going to give this a shot. If it's uh, revalue, and then we want to do Q14, and then other can stay as it is, but we want to change this. Ugh. All right. Do double quotes so we're not struggling with that, just to be law. And then the next one. <laughs> is instead of this big old thing, we will do, and this should be in single quotes so that we don't make ourselves sad, uh, we will do boy. Let's see if that works. Could not find function revalue. Uh, forecast for categorical variables. Oh, I thought it was like a pun on forecasting. All right, let's look up forecasts. Uh, four cats renaming factor levels. Ugh. Sorry, itchy nose. Uh, change factor levels by hand. That's exactly what I want. See, this is what I love about the R. Uh, this is what I love about R. If you want to do something data connected E, they will Someone has done it, and you can just use their thing. Uh, apple fruit. Oh, it's backwards from the other one. OK, gotcha. If you name the level null, it will be removed. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's helpful. All right. Use bang, bang, bang to slice. All right, so what I'm going to do here is we just need to edit this a little bit so we can do uh, <laughs> factor recode. Excellent. And then we need the column, so that is good. And then we want the name that we want to call the thing and then the name, what it's called currently. And then uh, same thing. And we want this one to be called boy. Uh, and we are, it shouldn't be a problem that these need to be um, sort of variable name compatible in R because I think all of the text that we want them to be called is variable name compatible. And if it's not, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. F must be a factor or a character vector or numeric vector. Oh. Which one's F? All right, that's X. A factor or character vector. Yeah. Uh, mm. Is it not? Is it not a character vector? I, shot, I thought for sure it was a character vector. All right, let's find out. Uh, so we're looking for the data type of decoded DF. Uh, and then just one of the questions, Q14. It's a factor with four levels. 
what does it say it wants it to be? Factor. Factor. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't like being piped in from the whole data frame. Oh, sorry. Uh, I must have done something that irritated my skin because slightly itchy. All right. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like this is actually an coding thing. So let's try it here. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely an encoding thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is uh, an IPA character for uh, the sound all and the this is uh, an IPA character for the sound. Oi. Uh, although mm, I might I might pick a little bit of uh, I might pick a little bit of a uh, knit with that uh, particular transcription because people who say lawyer are also not likely to have the open O. So I might do that with the, the rounded A instead. Anyway, it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay, uh, great. So that should be good. Let's just run this real quick and then uh, just real quick look at decoded DF. I want to know if it changed it in place. If it's in the tidyverse, it almost certainly didn't because there's a sort of ethos in the tidyverse that um, you should always change copies and it sure for sure did not. So we're just going to go ahead and um, do that. And now if we look at do, 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 that excellently, we can see uh, we can see that answer. Uh, and then actually for for this, I think I might say either. Uh, I think I'm going to rename this as well. And we are going to have to go through and rename everything in our data validation. But you know what? That's okay because now the classifier will work and not be uh, nonsense. Not all of the characters can be encoded to save with a different encoding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, uh, so I'm just going to real quick run from the top like you do. All right, and now if we look at the summary of the decoded DF, we should be very happy and get everything the way that we want it. Uh, so this first one, which had a bunch of IPA in it, uh, now it says is either other law and boy. Fantastic. Uh, this one is whether you say caught and caught, different or the same. I say them differently. If you also say them differently, you probably noticed the difference there. If you don't, you probably didn't. Uh, I know a lot of people from India watch, but I don't know enough about the vowel systems of all the different languages in India to know if that tends to be a distinction or not. Um, I'm just gonna quickly. Hindi low back rounds. And I realize that not everyone in India speaks Hindi. Uh, da, da, da. Symmetric 10 vowel system. Okay, yeah, no, there definitely is a, a distinction there. So I uh, probably heard that as a difference if uh, that's the language that you speak. All right, this I'm happy with. This I'm happy with. Um, this I'm happy with. There are two options here, uh, but I am okay. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There's two options here, but I'm okay with that because they should be caught by... Um, our, uh, our assistant is doing fuzzy matching. So if it matches either use or use with an S on the end, it should be fine. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. That looks fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. Uh, mm, yeah, and poor boy is fine. I think most people who say that would probably say po boy. Um, like, po oh God, I want a po boy. <laughs> <laughs> they're real good. They're real, real good. Uh, would probably say it like that without the or on the end of it. Um, I recently started watching um, a YouTube channel where uh, somebody ranks different like southern foods and it's made me real homesick, but it's fine. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I have no word for this. I use lightning bug and firefly interchangeably. Mm -hmm. This word, which apparently is something in, in Hindi. Rami speaks Hindi. Uh, I think you were the one who, who mentioned it. It's something about like a, a flirtatious person, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Again, not something I've ever heard somebody say. Uh, crawfish caught at other. I have no word for this critter. Um, something about the word critter just seems very old fashioned -y to me. Mud bug. Uh, da, da, da. No idea what this is. No word for it. That one I'm okay with. This one I'm okay with. Uh, this one I'm okay with. I think I do want to update this um, question 79. So let's just a little, little copy paste. And then 79 was the question. And 79 continued to be the question. And then uh, uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to change that. Because if I think I would say, if I was talking about the difference here, I'd say limited access. And again, using um, you know our, our fuzzy matching, that should be not a problem. So I'm not worried about that necessarily. No term or expression. Uh, I think that's okay, because if they just say frosting or just say icing, it'll match to this. But if they start talking about any of these things, it'll match to that instead. The joys of fuzzy matching. Uh, this actually looks good to me. That looks good. That looks good. Uh, hmm. The That looks good. The rubber necking I might come back for. So that's question 107. Let me write that down real quick. Rachel, why are we looking at data by hand? This is supposed to be the data science machine learning. Yep. You can't not look at your data. <laughs> that is a recipe for disaster. Uh, all right. Yeah, so I think that's just the only one that I want to do. So let's just quickly look at uh, decoded DF. Decoded DF, and then it was question 107, all right. Yeah, oh, this one could use, oh, oof, that one could absolutely use some, some tidying up. Um, yeah. So let's look at a summary instead. So now that we're summarizing one factor, we should see all of the output. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No word for this. I think it's really just this one that needs to be worked. Uh, Okay, so this is question 107, because we didn't end up using this at all. If we tried to do this, whoop, I'll hit insert at some point. Uh, question 107. So I think this will help. Um, so we actually just need to change one of the factors, and it's this enormously long one. Uh, And we'll get rid of all that. And then we just need to decide what to call this. Uh, and I think we are, I think we can do it like it's uh, where the factor name is in quotes as well. Hopefully, otherwise we're gonna be in, uh... why are we using Latin one? Yeah. I think I will. Why are we not using UTF-8? Uh, was your file, save with encoding, UTF-8, because we're not monsters. All right. Uh, there are specific reasons why you would use other file encodings, but in general, I'd recommend UTF-8 almost all the time. say rubbernecking is the verb is that a thing that someone would say uh, I was gonna say is the 
thing you do. Oh, yep, yeah, that would do it. Okay, so let's give this another... Not the... Traffic jam. Which actually, I think is actually my answer to this question, now that I, I think about it. Uh, I think when I've been going through and doing the uh, the quiz, I've always said that like I would call that rubbernecking. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that's the name of the traffic jam. I think the traffic jam would just be like normal traffic jam. All right. Uh, and I think that's all we needed to update. So that's actually way less bad than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a huge, big ordeal. Um, and it wasn't. Pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm thinking about the other thing we need to do, which is get all of these answers for the data validation. Uh, and whether there's a quick way to do that. So when I originally did it, I did it by hand because I was like, oh, I'm only going to do this once. It's not going to take that long. And I get it didn't take that long, but now I'm doing it again and we might do it differently in the future. So I think it's worthwhile to uh, make our lives a little bit easier. So if I want a list of just all of the levels of all of the factors, uh, hmm. help me out, please and thank you. Uh, Google, are list all levels of all factors in a data frame. Stack overflow, that's what I'm looking for. All right, I get the head of the levels. Glimpse, I get more values. Uh, some options, we can look through the data with S apply to get the levels of each column. Or if we need a pipe, then it can be done as like so. All right. Uh, yeah, let's try this. And then all we need to do is get the name of the slots. Oh, right. <laughs> so our data frame is not called data, as it turns out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this should be much easier to make into our um, our, our validation data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. Uh, so then the thing that I need is, I believe that I've saved this as a Python dictionary in my data validation file. Uh, and when I say believed, I mean I know for a fact that that's what I've done. Uh, and uh, the key for each of the dictionary entries is the name of the slot. And I have the name of the slots in one of the files in my uh, uh, create data, create dictionary with levels for data validation. And I think, can you just read, you can read a JSON, just like write it into a dictionary in Python, right? Uh, Python read JSON in as dictionary. I'm gonna double check. Oh, it's from 2015, so this could be Python 2 potentially. Um, blah, 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 work with dictionaries. Yes. I would say is my quick answer to that, just very quickly skimming that. So, uh, crack a JSON file with levels for data validation. Okay, so uh, this is, we're gonna call this all levels. Uh, and there we go. Uh, we're going to, oh, also the recording error has gone away, so that's good. Uh, so all we're gonna do here, Coca-Cola. Coca Did anyone say Coca-Cola? Huh. Presumably somebody or it wouldn't be in the quiz. Uh, not me though, Coca-Cola. Maybe I've heard of that. Hmm. Uh, okay, so 
what we want to do here is we want to get the slots and I think I actually have this all read in. Yeah, I think it's in question key. Let's double check that question key. Nope. Too much Python. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it is uh, question number has the number and then slot name has the slot name. So what I want to do, ugh. Okay, so for my data frame, hmm, it's not a data frame, it's a dictionary. No, nope, it's not a dictionary, it's a list. First, we're gonna do this without typos. Okay, so this is the name. So these are in order, and I want to rename levels of a list. Rename levels of a list in R. Oh, they're not called levels, are they? Uh, rename items in a list in R. Rename list items, that's the one. Okay. Uh, all right. How do I rename the elements of the list? Uh, names. Okay, so I can. Gotcha. Okay, so I can do it by going into the names, the list, and editing that. Uh, my question is I don't think. I don't think the, so my names in my list here are in alphabetical order, they've been sorted. I don't think the names, I don't think my um, data frame with a question key has been sorted by question number. So let's just real quick do that. Um, what did I say it was called? Question key? That sounds right. Question key? Yeah. And then we're going to arrange we're going to arrange, which is the way that you sort a data frame in the tidyverse, um, by question key, uh, question number. We're going to arrange by question number. And let's just real quick print that out. <laughs> First, let's actually finish typing the command, and then let's print that out and see if that works. Uh, so the first one should be about uh, boy law both, different same, y'all's use. Yeah, okay. And then the questions are 14, 28, 50, 58, 60. And then just to look here, uh, 14, 28, 50, 58, 60. Excellent. Okay, so now that's correct. Uh, and then we want to... From here, select just a single column, and that column is the one with the slot name. Yeah? Column slot name does not exist. Slot name. Ah, typo. All right, okay, so now we have the slots in order, and then we need to pull, as I remember, is how you get out the slot, excellent. And then we need to add at the front uh, user ID, and then dot refers to the thing from the last level. Uh, do, do, do. That ain't right. That ain't right at all, all right. Nope, not what I wanted. Hmm, it must be pull. So right now, of factor levels is the thing that I want to do specifically. Four cats, all right. Different level month. <laughs> Counts, pieces, quiet flips, not what I'm looking for. Uh, none of that's what I'm looking for. Okay, hmm. Uh, so, the reason that I am...
Uh, actually, let's do uh, as character vector, maybe. Let's see if that works. Yeah, OK, excellent. All right, and then we can add user ID at the front. Because our first column is user ID. Wait, why would I need the user ID? This is my data validation for my questions. I don't think I have a user ID in here. I think it's all just, yeah, let's look at, let's, let's look at all levels real quick. But I think I don't have user ID in here. I think I just have all of the questions. Pretty sure. Oh, no, I do have user ID, so I do need to add it. OK. Uh, and then we're just going to add user ID on the front, and then we're going to add everything else from that pipe. Excellent. So I'm going to call this um, list item names. Make my life a little easier. Uh, and then we are going to say that the name was it name or names? Names. I have the Stack Overflow question open in another column, another column, another monitor. Um, the names for uh, all levels should be uh, list list item names. And now, when we look at all levels. Something's up. Something's up. What's up? OK, so it is right at some point, And then it gets wrong. Ah. OK, so it looks like a uh, basketball bug. Um, it looks like the bug slot is actually midway through and not all the way through. Hmm. So it looks like the number of the questions somewhere is wrong. Um, uh, Addison says, is the Raza reading group going to happen? Yes. So I actually have a meeting about trying to figure out what that's going to look like logistically today. Um, so no firm timeline yet, but yeah, absolutely. And it will probably not be just me. It'll probably be me and somebody else. And we can talk about the papers we're going through. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this is very mysterious why this would happen. Uh, uh, Utterson says, sounds great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. <sighs> this is very mysterious. So we have, we should be using the same question numbers throughout. Otherwise, we wouldn't get the right data every time. So, sorry, I'm just adjusting the uh, uh, mic so I can see the whole screen. So, Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mix stored. So here we have target questions, which are the questions we're interested in. Selected raw responses. We unencode them using target questions, which is a sorry. Target question here is just a a number, and selected raw responses. And these are sorted, and then. Code responses, all right. Selected raw responses, user ID. Hmm. Uh, let's just look at the names of decoded DF. Maybe at some point I've made something uh, be the wrong. Uh, which one is the one that we have messed up is my question. So let's try just this. Yeah, I see how that could be. Uh, let's look just at this. So 
the one that's the issue is the potato bug, which we have is 74 here. And these are coming from Dakota DF, so that's what I want to match to. Where did Dakota DF, and these are in order, 73, 76. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open um, question key. Well, that shouldn't be, shouldn't be empty, should it? Is that what we were? Question key CSV. All right, so in this data set, bug is 74 and In this data set, bug is 74. What's up? Why is this happening? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Christian says, hmm, K, K, Raza, maybe? Sorry, I do not speak Spanish. I mean, I speak Spanish to the degree that someone in the United States sort of like knows some Spanish words, but I've never really studied it. Um, enjoying live coding. Oh, great. Thank you. I feel like I'm really struggling today. <sighs> What's up with this? Why is this happening? Why are these in a different order? At this point, it has efficiently taken me longer than it would to do by hand, but um, this is something where I might go back and change the questions uh, later on. So I think it's worth doing it in a little bit more of a reproducible way.